In this video, you're going to learn how to recognize patterns from a table using RTI Inspire. So we're going to start today from right here, our main page. And we're going to go ahead and open a new document. Once you open a new document, you're going to have this list of options of what kind of page you want to add. So we're going to select number four, Add List and Spreadsheet. Once you do that, notice that our page looks almost like an Excel page. But right now, I need you to focus in this little icon right here. This means tags. And what that means is that right here in this cell, you will have to name your columns. If we're going to use a table, our first column will have to be labeled X as our variable X. And if we move to the side, in the column B, we will have to label it Y as our Y variable. What we're going to do right now is that we're going to start inputting our data, our points. But for that, we are going to stay away from the equal symbol. So we're just going to go down here to cell 1. So my values that I'm going to use is going to be 1 for x, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to start inputting our y values. Right now we're going to use 1, 3, 5, and 7. Before we go on to the very last one, I want you to notice how right now my number is all the way to the left. When this happens, it's almost as if your calculator, the TI Inspire, cannot notice this number. So you have to make sure that this number will always have to be to the right, just like all the other ones. And that only happens when you go down to the next cell. After we're, we do this, notice how all of our table is now inputted in our Excel sheet or in our spreadsheet. So now we're going to go to Menu, right here. And we're going to go to data number three and then we're going to go all the way to option nine quick graph what will happen right now is that on one side you have your table that we already filled in and on the other one on your right side you have your combinations your points but right now notice how this is a little bit odd because our axes are not in the right place we know that our horizontal axis is supposed to be y sorry, X, and right now it's labeled Y. So what we're going to do is going to click on it and select X. And then we're going to go to the other axis, and I know this is my Y axis, so I'm going to select Y. And here I have my pattern. So right now I notice that my pattern follows a straight line, a line that I could draw using a straight ruler. This is called a linear pattern. But let's say that for some reason you need to change the values. You need to change. You have a different table. All that you have to do now is just go back here. And let's suppose that you have the same x values. So we're just going to change the y values. So we're going to use the values 2, 1, 7, 3. And again, I'm going to move down until this number it's all the way to the right. In the moment that I do that, as I was doing it, notice how all the points kept moving out of place. So, in case that you cannot see all your points, you can always go back and click on your graph side, go to menu, and notice how you have a window zoom. And this option number two zoom data is very interesting because what it will do is it'll fit all your points on your table in case you cannot see them the pattern that we have right now notice how i cannot follow in a straight line so this is not a straight pattern there are different types of patterns that we can s notice in a table and they have their own name but this is the way that from a table we can generate a graph and try to recognize the pattern 
These are some of the patterns that you might see.